All new at six, a blistering report in the Washington Post calls out Governor Ron DeSantis' handling of the coronavirus. Among other claims, the governor is accused of ignoring recommendations by top health experts right here in the Bay Area. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales following up on the claims. As Florida surpasses New York in the number of total coronavirus cases, a scathing expose in the Washington Post. It details Governor Ron DeSantis ignored scientists and instead mirrored President Trump's denials on the seriousness of the virus. Dr. Charles Lockwood, senior VP at USF Health, spoke with the paper. I think there was a little bit of um, uh, boasting um, by many people in Florida compared to New York and Connecticut and uh, New Jersey. Uh, you anyway. mean the governor? Well, I have a lot of politicians and um, we probably should have been a little bit more humble. But believes the governor deserves some credit. Does he get an A? No. And does he get a, 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 an F? No. Our state, um, as hard hit as it's been, has one of the best uh, case fatality rates in the, in the world. So, you know, that's not too shabby. Lockwood touts more testing, PPE, remdesivir. But according to the Washington Post, quote, decision making became increasingly shaped by politics and divorce from scientific evidence, citing interviews with 64 current and former state and administration officials. The governor's official schedule shows he's met once this month with a Surgeon General. I reached out to the governor's office for comment, but haven't heard back. And just in the last week, Governor DeSantis met with President Trump at the White House to talk about COVID-19 in Florida. And today, the governor attended a roundtable in Miami with Vice President Pence for an update on vaccine trials. Lockwood says his own recommendations to improve contact tracing went nowhere locally and statewide. Other experts told the Washington Post their advice was ignored. And just today, the mayor of Miami Beach wrote this letter to the governor blasting the state contact tracing program. We're going to be in this until we have a vaccine and we have herd immunity. So it, it, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.